I am Eric Becker. I'm a Senior Project Manager with Capital Projects with Seattle Schools. Uh, we are in the middle of uh, construction on a modernization of and additions to Webster School, which is, will be Webster K-8 for the Licton Springs. Uh, my name is Craig Stoffer. I work at PCS Structural Solutions. I'm the structural engineer for the Webster School uh, seismic upgrades. As one of the design team members, we recognize the historical significance of these buildings. The Landmarks Board certainly recognized that. Um, I, myself, I like the significance of as, it's, as it relates to Ballard and the history of Ballard. This building is an unreinforced masonry. In the original brick construction, the brick did everything. Nowadays, we still rely on the brick to carry the gravity forces, but we start strengthening the unreinforced masonry from out of plane, we anchor it better, uh, we, we reinforce it so it can still carry the vertical loads well, but we add the horizontal bracing in to start carrying the, the seismic forces in the, in the event of an earthquake. We've actually threaded structural steel inside of this unreinforced masonry set shell. And our architect has done a fantastic job, I think, with uh, tying in the new work to the old. We're bringing all modern electrical into this building, all technology uh, and all new mechanical systems. The, the walls will be insulated very well uh, and we'll have, in portions of the building, we'll have new windows. And some of the, uh, some of the building has the older windows in it that have been uh, upgraded. It will look very much like the old building from a layout standpoint. Um, you'll, the, a lot of our solutions, a lot of our upgrades are actually kind of hidden, hidden in walls. You don't necessarily see them. You'll walk by them every day and don't know it. This was uh, the result of the generous voters of Seattle uh, in our BTA4 levy project. And it uh, is funding this project fully. I've been doing it for over 30 years, uh, uh, designing and uh, working on the construction and managing construction of schools. And it's certainly a satisfying to go on the first day. Uh, I like seeing the smiles on the faces of the kids on the grand openings, that they're, they're getting a, a building that, uh, that they love and that they're happy to be in. The teachers are happy, the parents are happy. You know, even a few months into school, it's certainly a pleasure to see how the buildings operate. In this case, with this building, it's good to know that we we have a building that fits really well into the neighborhood. We'll be uh, wrapping things up in the summer and getting it ready for uh, school to start in the fall.